Hi, I'm Benji Hardy, and I have your Arkansas Times news headlines for today, Wednesday, April 1st. Uh, the big news today is, once again, HB 1228, the Religious Protection Bill by Representative Bob Ballinger that the legislature gave it final approval to yesterday. After the House concurred in sentence amendments yesterday afternoon, all eyes shifted to Governor Asa Hutchinson to see whether he might take some action on the bill. Hutchinson had previously made it clear that he supported HB 1228, but now he's sort of backpedaling in the face of a tremendous wave of opposition, including most significantly from Walmart, which last night on Twitter uh, asked Asa Hutchinson to veto 1228. This morning, the governor held a press conference in which he said that he wanted legislators to make changes to the bill. He wants the legislature to recall that bill back to, uh, to make some changes in committee or else give him a, a separate piece of legislation with the changes that he wants that would make its language more closely correspond to the, to the federal version of the bill upon which it's based, the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Uh, HB 1228 has much broader language than the federal version as it currently stands, and the governor said he would like to see uh, the state version correspond to the federal, the federal act. Uh, so, in other words, he's not vetoing it, but he's asking legislators to change it. So right now we're waiting to see if conservative Republicans in the legislature who sponsored the bill originally will go along with, with Hutchinson's proposed compromise or if they'll refuse to budge. Uh, as I said yesterday, if they do hold firm, they could overwrite any potential veto that Hutchinson would mount. He also hinted today, uh, the governor, that is, that he might issue an executive order to help soothe accusations that the bill is discriminatory. He said he might take action to protect LGBT state employees, uh, which would be a step in the right direction, although perhaps a little bit of a different issue than what HB 1228 is, is addressing. Uh, in other news, um, former U.S. Representative John Paul Hammerschmidt died today at age 92. Uh, Hammerschmidt first won office in 1966, becoming the first Republican congressman from Arkansas since the Civil War. In 1974, a young Bill Clinton made his first race for office, uh, a challenge to Hammerschmidt in the 3rd District. Clinton lost, and Hammerschmidt retained the seat for another 18 years. He's probably best known for sponsoring legislation that created the Buffalo National River. Uh, and finally, outliving Hammerschmidt by some 24 years, a resident of Camden, Arkansas, Gertrude Weaver, uh, became known as the world's oldest person today at 116 years, 8 months, and 28 days. She reportedly still has a living son, Joe, who is 93 years old as of her 116th birthday. Whenever she was born on July 4th, 1898, William McKinley was president, the United States was fighting the Spanish-American War in Cuba and the Philippines, and that same year, George Gershwin and Rene Magritte were also born. So keep that in some perspective for as you watch what's happening up at the state capitol. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, Max should be back from vacation tomorrow to take over. Thank God.